What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Quest to Solid back again with the new video, man. All right, as y'all see on the screen, we are playing Suma or Soma. You see it, but you know, I just had to find a horror game to play. I just had to. Had to find Luckily, I did. So, we go ahead and get into it. Yeah. Let's see what's up. No, no, you already know I don't do too much talking. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see these game modes. So, you already know I ain't going with safe, but you know we got normal. Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive. The way the game was designed from the start. So that's it. They just got safe and you know, alright. I wasn't gonna go on no type of harder difficulty than that. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm just saying. It's just me. I'm blue. I'm cool with normal, my boy. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. First off, we finna turn these lights on. Where did I put the tracer? I do. I do. I do. Darkness, boy. That's a no no. Turn it on. That's how you run. Okay. Come on, we so open doors. Where are you? Bruh. To open doors and counters. I didn't read it because this damn dude talking over me. Damn, chill, bro. Is that all the lights that I turned on? Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Hey! Hey, what is this? New York. Is that alien? Cause I can tell by that long neck right there. Uh, 
Munchie, no, Neurograph Session, 30 April 2015. Oh, by the way, this game was made in 2017. I never played this game before, so yeah, I just just had to hit, just had to you know, download it, and see what's to it, you know. Thank you again for participating in our research. This game will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are our guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan section for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Wunchy. Okay, so... In my head, I'm thinking we're like a... Test subject is what I'm thinking. I'm not gonna go winning soon, you know. Uh, from Doctor Peek or Peek, weird last name. Uh, new prescription. Dear Mr. Jared, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for... I'll just skip it. To help you with your nightmares, please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Doctor. Ear pain. Uh, send these off. <laughs> Forgot to hit send. Does it matter? I already told him about it. Man, where y'all phones at? Oh, you got a phone. What? What's up with texting? You sending emails? I just said. Uh, since I have probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I gave the doctor an appointment tomorrow. I. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You need it, Simon. So just go ahead and send it. Might better as well. late than never. All right. I thought I could see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Paperball, paperball. Still got it, yes sir. Alright. Right, you know, I'm trying to explore a little bit. Yes, 
myself recoil. What that is a P5 Xbox? Sorry, I mean, I mean, y'all yeah, know what I mean. I don't um, did the thing. Just uh, need to clean up. Simon Jerry, we call it EV fifty seven to run on the Jerry, nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Oh, no, but here. That guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email off. He must have caught up by oh, now. There it stuff. is. Oh. Uh, let me look. Alright, let me go ahead and... Okay, it feels like milk using the object. It's have like sucking out a penny. How you know what's suck? Never mind. We ain't gonna need to talk about it. We ain't gonna need to talk about it at all. Check. Check. Should we, um, should I get one more? Matter of fact, hey, if I hit this shot on the first try, bro, you gotta hit that like button. No kizzy. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was epic, Phil. It's cool. See, bro, this dude is messy, bro. Why did they have to give me a messy character? Like, dang, bro, learn how to go out the trash, man. Oh damn, I forgot the I left the dang curtains. <laughs> he ain't worried about it. Ain't nobody finna Who finna never mind. Let's go. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, working the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole. You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Don't find me in a phone booth. Over and out. Nobody says it. Down, come, comment down below, y'all favorite snack. Hello? 
Dr. Munchie? Sound sketchy, bro. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Oh, this place sketchy. That's what it is. You can't give up yet. Nah, bro. This place sketchy as hell. Like you seen the lights was off, chat. Like, am, like, hey, did did I just did I not see that? Cause look, nah. See, I'm already knowing. And curtains not open. Okay, we got people down outside. But we, I count like what two? I count two people. Two people down there. Damn it. Nah, I'm reading. Computers and everything. I don't care about none of that. No pools, no none of that. David Munchie. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I told I got on I got hold of Samuel Simon Jan mm. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop. I saw your laptop reception. Are you already here? Okay. So, pretty much some urgent is going on. Never mind, she get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scammer, the scanner, for tomorrow morning and, and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said. Just use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy on on Friday. I'm hoping Dr. Aaron P will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. David. David Munchie. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code, code change, so I called security talk to the per professor we okay. what's up with these last names all right anyway to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of someone honcho over a pace paces legal department that could regain regrant us permission to use the lab I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay, so basically some strange stuff is going on. That's what it sounds like. I can't read. I can't read none of this. Page 56. Some of these things, though, she looks worse than my handwriting.
they say it cold in here. Alright, so we just had a piece of paper. Five zero one. Right. Put the dang thing down, baby. Alright. Sit. Two five zero. I was looking, expecting to get that wrong. But usually I'll forget something in like three seconds. Oh, gee. Why did that light just flicker? Nah, bro. Why did it, why did I get the chill as soon as I turned around, bro? this home. Fuck it. Oh, Actually, I want this in my sight because <laughs> somebody walk in on me and then they pick it up from the ground. Lead at the weight. Matter of fact, nah, I won't close that because I, do I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that one. Alright, so let's see. So, you just hear me. So, oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right, let me look around. Come on, let's do this. Hold on, man. You said whenever I'm ready. I ain't ready. first please have a seat bro you want to fight bro so what exactly are we doing we're going to do a scan of your brain then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli the program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized in short develop the perfect treatment for your condition so it's not just a study this will actually help me i should hope so otherwise this would be a huge waste of time <laughs> You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. Mm -hmm. 
As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. I really don't trust this, but, um, gotta get through a chat. It just made me feel like I was in, um, what you call it? Hey, what's that one movie, though? But it was either. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Oh, man. That was bright. What happened? Mr. Munchie, did something go wrong? Oh, it's Munchie. I kept saying Munchie. This isn't funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. this place. How did I get here? I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Omni tool. Bro, what Omni tool again? Oh, that's their build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool. Bro, <laughs> so you dead serious, bro? I can't do that. Nah, let me get this damn chair because we about to break this. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Now nah, I'm about to carry this with me. So, somebody, somebody want to play? Cause y'all know, yeah, on new scary games. Bro, I need to turn my sensitivity up, bro. That's too much. Nah, nah, sensitivity needs to go up.
se ha nos. Expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. How did I do that? Source. Help me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, boy. Nah, bro. See. Nah, that would. That Just scare me so damn bad, bro. I put myself in the damn corner. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? I'm not playing. I need peekaboo behind each corner. <laughs> I'm not playing, bro. This fire hydrant, bro. You wanna play? You wanna play, big boy? We good. Stop it, bro. Like, like I said, like I said, G. Stop playing on me, bro. Now let me stop playing with you. Don't mess with machines.
shot one. Oh! Ah, shoot him! Flashlight. Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user's automate. To automate route actions through basic logical charts over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover some consequence. Some damn, take some consequence, some no. behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni tool has short range signal useful for baseball, a basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to the workstation for example. To upgrade your device simply slide upper operators into the main or auxiliary slide okay and slide as a standard C11 the connector which allows the user to fit most market context clips into the omni tool note that Introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The OX slot is a multi connector with a large range of tool chip models, including but not limited to a 1113398 A2090101X. H I H A I T T one nine J U C I three two Damn my damn brain couldn't even function bro I got jump scared so many damn times I meant to say it's a Subconscious. Damn, damn ass. All right, so back to pack. <laughs> nah, let me use this drill, bro. I like. I don't point it towards me, game. <laughs> you fucked your video, bitch. I'm not playing. Hey, let a damn robot come through it. Yeah. Still, I don't care. Oh, sorry, boy. But, damn, boy. Fuck you. Oh. 
See, that can't be me. That can't be me. I'll drew your damn uh, power chip out. Put it with me. Says denied. See now y'all playing, bro. Please get out of this. I want an easy way. Better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. I ain't just walking no circle, bro. Okay. Close. This. What's up? Hurry up. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Inventory basic. Tile suits one through six. BDS hashtag one. Okay, okay. Unknown. Just, we just gonna go with what I just said. Okay. Power suit stored. Yeah, um.
told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. but not fitted with custom Cortex chip. You are currently being serviced by the default on the board intelligence helper gene. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Fitted for a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FTS kit, FST kit, will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your design privileges, please insert a tool chip and run it. Okay. Security cipher updated. Characteristic levels of nausea or nausea. After after the mission, di diagnostics show a spike of electric. 
electromagnetic surrounding the pilot helmet which is believed to be the cause of Simkin's systems no indication to what created this on me okay some is practically wrong with this ship or whatever Uh, the pilot system has been increasingly unreliable. Unreliable, everyone who's been using it. The last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin has knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations do programming or physical labor no one is happy about this so don't bother complaining Jane Adams chief factor so what does mean right? soup or something Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Nah. Nope. Oh, y'all got it. Yeah, nah. They got sharks in here, bro. What was that? It doesn't hurt him. Touch the damn thing. I bet I ain't you.
woods down here. Don't touch the structure jelly. Leakage cannot confirm its effect. The issue has been reported to SSE. Hey, can you hear me? Put it back in. I see what to do. Can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalom, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, 
signal. Ah, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, it's, uh, uh, someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay, so apparently we gotta go upstairs. All right, so um, is that what all this turbulence, bro? Not that turbulence. I'm shaking. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video off right here. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see part two. Um, and uh, if you want, you know, Hello Neighbor part five, you already know what to do on the other video. So, um, also, I'm gonna need some help with that code. For that safe that is at, uh, I looked up the guy's name. It's Mr. Otto. So, I'm gonna be, you know, uh, looking in the comments for, for the code answer. So, yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all on the next video.